Hello everyone, I'm Sam and welcome to uh, probably the final episode of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Last time we wrapped up the last of our side quests and uh, freed Kay, Bones, and Irenka from the police station. And today we will be heading off to London to uh, put a stop to Marchenko once and for all. This episode might run a little bit long, so try to bear with me. Miller's not here yet? He's already left for the main hangars with MacReady's team. We're supposed to rendezvous with them there. You ready to go? Let's roll, Chicane. Yeah, let's go. Unbelievable. You told him it's a credible threat. I understand that. There are hundreds of lives at risk. I hope you're wrong about this, Jensen. So do I. Fine. Fine. Have your men pull back until I can talk to him myself. Miller out. Changing plans. Mac, you and your team will rendezvous with our London division. Secure the perimeter until I tell you to come back in. Jensen, you and I are on the roof. Is there a problem? Map it up, gentlemen. Approaching the target building now. Get your coat. You're gonna need it. I don't have to tell you what's happening. You know the drill. There are people down there. Radical, augmented people who've been sidelined by this world and who think the only way to stop the oppression is by tearing down everything in their way. Their grievances may be just. Maybe they should be heard, but never on these terms. The world may be going to shit, but we're here to stand against the chaos. Every one of the guests down there are counting on us to keep them safe. Let's make sure we do. Director Miller, I'm Nathaniel Brown. Well, thank you for agreeing to handle this discreetly. We didn't exactly have a choice. You threatened to invoke the Corporate Sovereignty Act. I gave your London division a full day to sweep for explosives. They found nothing. It's not just bombs we're concerned with. I've also replaced all the food and beverage brought in extra guards from Tarvis Security Services and ordered the men to work with your team when it arrives. Trust me, I'm taking this threat very seriously. Then why not cancel the event? This isn't the first time extremists have threatened to tear down the Safe Harbor Initiative. Pro-Og supporters think we're profiting from their misery, promoting more failures like Gollum City. While anti-Og racists can't stand the thought of any augmented person living in peace, canceling this event will only embolden all of them. Well, as much as you can draw parallels between the pro-Og, anti-Og thing and racial tension, um, it, being augmented isn't exactly an immutable trait in the same way that, you know, race is. But, I don't know, let's try and, uh, let's try and educate Nathaniel Brown here. The men planning to attack here tonight are no ordinary extremists. They murdered Talos Rucker, 
and they want to frame the Augmented Rights Coalition if their attack tonight succeeds. Is this true? How do you know it? How does it matter? We're here because of a credible threat against you and your Safe Harbor Convention. These men are out to stop you. They know you've been campaigning against the Human Restoration Act. They need it to pass. They don't care how many lives they destroy as long as that happens. But we do. It's Agent Jensen, isn't it? David Seraph told me about you. You might not believe this, Agent, but I'm also trying to save lives tonight. The lives of your people. Several members of the UN Security Council are on my guest list tonight. I plan to convince them just how wrong the act really is. Talus Rucker couldn't stop it from passing. But I can. Where are you meeting then? In a secure conference room off the reception hall. Men from your London division have already cleared it. Doesn't matter. I want to see this room myself, and I want Agent Jensen here to coordinate with Tavos security while the rest of my team re-examines the building. Discreetly, of course. The head of our Tarvis division is Liam Slater. He's waiting for your man to join him in the central security office. Go see him, Agent, and keep McCready and me in the loop. Mr. Brown, if you'll show me that conference room. Here we are in London. Man, these buildings look really cool. I have no idea if they are based on real buildings or not. I can't imagine that they are, but man, they look great. So this is London. Uh, it's black and gold, just like everything else in this game. And if anything, it really bums me out that this area wasn't expanded into a full bone, uh, full bone, full blown hub like Prague. I can only imagine how cool this environment would have been uh, if they had had the resources to flesh it out as fully as they had Prague. Alex, I'm at the Apex Center. Brown's got members of the Security Council here tonight, members sympathetic to Og rights. You understand they must be protected at all costs. Janus? Were you eavesdropping on me? Uh, forgive me. But the situation did seem to merit it. Right. Well, if I need your advice tonight, I'll ask. The Illuminati already tried once to control human evolution. Having failed, it appears that some of them now are pushing for complete eradication of your kind. We need to stop them. Brown and the people he's meeting with tonight may be the only ones who can. Adam, Janus is right. We'll see. So here we are. Man, that is a lot of sight cones. But luckily, it looks like they're friendlies. These are the same security company from the bank, after all. Sorry about robbing your bank, guys. So we're here to meet, uh, I guess, Liam Slater was the name? Move away. Access to this part of the building is restricted. Security personnel only. Chief Slater is expecting me. Chief... Oh, right. He's, um, unavailable at the moment. Urgent matter. The urgent matter is why I'm here. I'm sorry. Who did you say you were with? Uh, look. This is seeming pretty sketchy. I don't like how these two guards have walked up behind us. Let's try and trick him. I didn't. Look. I have an appointment to meet with Liam Stevens, Chief Liam Stevens, and I don't have a lot of time. Could you try him on the radio for me? I'll do better than that. You wait here, and I'll tell Stevens personally that you are here to see him, okay? Yep. Miller, McCready. Tarvos isn't letting me in. The guard I spoke to, uh, something's not right here. McCready, anyone from Tarvos Security contact you yet? Negative. Which is odd, actually. Shit. If the building's already compromised, we're... Forget it. We stay on task. Jensen, get inside Slater's office and find out what's going on. Copy that. Max, send a team up for support right away. Already on the way. Alright, things are gonna get messy pretty quick. Let's go ahead and turn off this camera and take it down. Yeah, 
This first guard is suspicious. Go ahead and turn off the second camera. Aha! A Titan Og. Did I get spotted? Let's just go ahead and reload our quick save there. Don't want to get spotted quite yet. Okay. Greedy, anyone from Tarva Security contact you yet? Negative. Which is odd, actually. Shit. If the building's already compromised, where? Forget it. We stay on task. Jensen, get inside Slater's office and find out what's going on. Copy that. Max, send a team up for support right away. Already on the way. For Starvos might have been more trouble. Oh, well, that ambient dialogue basically confirms it. These are definitely the terrorists we're here to stop. This area is an excellent showcase of just all the different elements of the game. It's a fun section to shoot through, a fun section to stealth through, uh, has good uses for pretty much every augmentation, and has, you know, some pretty satisfying story payoff too. With the exception of the very, very end, of course. A lot of, uh, a lot of critics and players myself included, don't really care for the ending of this game, because it's not really much of an ending. It really feels like content was cut. I've got Tarvos bodies up here. We are definitely compromised. Fuck. All right, men, listen up. We expected something like this. Mac, how close are you to the CSO? Entering the stab... Oh, shit. Fucking doors are on security lockdown. I can't go anywhere but back. Jensen. There should be a security override switch inside Slater's office. Get in there, get the doors unlocked, and get Mac and his team moving again. Copy that. Okay, let's see. All that stuff is turned off. That's actually... Nah, this isn't really helpful. Security override, security override. Oh, of course, it's in the chief's office, not just in some random office. I wonder why that guy is constantly suspicious. Exactly as planned. If tonight's festivities go off with the same precision. Not to worry. Tarvos Security Service is on the case. <laughs> Some combat rifle ammo, which I was actually very low on, so I'm happy to have that. KO under control. Over. Let's also move this body. I don't think he'll get spotted, but better safe than sorry. Ooh. Don't want to activate that. All clear. All point. Confirmed. This must be the security override. <laughs> You can tell that it's story essential because it's a difficulty one terminal. Access granted. Let's go ahead and override. My friends, there's been darkness in the world of late. But where there is darkness, there is also opportunity. And we must seize it. We are the ones who can bring light back into the world. If we must, we will take up that torch and we We'll make sure that all the augmented have a chance to live with dignity. I'd like to propose a toast. Miller, to McCready. CCTV shows another compromised area. Back of the house. Looks like catering. I've got eyes on that area as well. 
It looks like our bogus Tarbosh units are using a guarded security door to access the reception hall. Oh, fuck! They're everywhere, circulating among the guests. What are they playing at? Why aren't they fucking shooting yet? Jensen, any sign of Marchenko or the Orchid? Negative. Neither. Miller, can you get to Brown? I'm moving to him now, but Jensen, we need to know if the Orchid is in play. Get down here, circulate and find a key to that door. One of the guards must have it on him. Copy that. It'd be easier if I knew how many guards I'm dealing with. I'll upload their patrol routes to your retinal log. But we don't want all hell breaking loose down here. So take them down quietly. Mac, you rally with Jensen ASAP. I'll pick up Brown and get him safe. Good luck, man. A little bit of a buggy subtitles there. Let's check this computer. Hmm. Okay. I picked up a code for something. That's always good. Ooh, a Devastator shotgun. And some battle rifle ammo. I don't think we'll be using a battle rifle, but just in case. Alright, so our next objective is to head all the way down to the second floor, into the reception hall, and uh, find the key card to the catering area. Now we have quite a ways to go. Luckily, thanks to cloaking, we should be able to get through this room without any trouble. Tag this. You hit it too. Clear. Copy that. Confirm. Confirm. Now clear. We take that elevator? I think we can. Yep, everything normal, don't worry about me. I hope this elevator connects. Okay, good. Let's head down to reception. Quick check, we've got 30 rounds of combat rifle, which is not much, but it's better than nothing. We've got 28 rounds for our revolver, a whole bunch of stun gun, and a whole bunch of pistol. Alright guys, I'm inside the reception hall. Got eyes on some of the guards, but there's no telling which one has the key card. Well, you'll find it soon enough, mate, because you need to take them all out. Can't have anyone in the weeds, yeah? And do it quietly. I'm close to your position now, I'll see you soon. So, Duncan's right, we do need to take these guys down stealthily if possible. Come on, camera, turn around. Thank you. There we go. So let's quick save, just in case, and take down this first guard. And we don't have the key to this, so we just have to hack it before the camera comes back online or someone runs by and panics. Anomaly detected. Trace access granted. Come on, security guard. There you go. Just so no one sees the body. And let's take a look around. Stun gun rounds, that's good. Jensen, how are you making out? No luck yet. One of them's got to have that key card. Search them well. There are time-sensitive parts to this mission, uh, but I don't think we're on one of them yet. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Let's turn off all of these cameras. Just get that out of the way. And of course, the real trick is uh, finding ways to stealthily take these guards down without accidentally causing a mass panic. One moment, sir. The mezzanine is not accessible to reception guests. I was hoping to get a new perspective on this party. That would be impossible. Enjoy the reception. 
So they should have had this guy at the front desk. He was a much better fake guard. Let's use our cloaking again. And real quick. Damn. Instead, you show up here with your comrades in tow, forcing me to adapt to the situation. Because of you, hundreds of men, women, and children must be sacrificed. Because of your interference, I had to place explosives in the residential towers across the way. I can send a detonation signal at any time. But if you come to the exhibition hall right now, maybe I won't have to. Talos Rack was a patient man, brother, but I am not. Come. I'm gonna go ahead and reload our save there. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Let's trigger this dialogue again. You can skip through dialogue, I just haven't been doing it. I wonder what caused the panic last time. Save again. And stealth. Instead, you show up here. Let's skip this cutscene. And reload. So, I'm going to take a couple runs at this and make sure that I can get it down right. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode here. And uh, I will rejoin you guys for the actual final episode of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. As always, I'm Sam. Uh, and this has been Deus Ex. And I hope to see you next time. Until then.